Okay, si okay, okay, all right. Sicknesses and diseases. Let me go ahead um, and, and do this video real quick before I head out here uh, and get to working out here on the land. Uh, I, you know, huh, most people out there are having trouble. Is there a God or isn't there a God? Uh, is Satan real? Isn't he real? Um, and yet and still, I'm marveling and I'm utterly amazed simply because when you read this Bible, you know, there are some things that the Bible simply does not tell you because they are spiritually discerned. Now, while it is talking to some people, other people will never be able to pick up what it's saying. So with all that said, to let you know, I keep telling you, you know, if you're going to understand the creator universe, you have to have a personal relationship with him. It can't be a religious experience. Um, and, and because the world is, you, you know, just well as I do, when you look at the world, the world is full of religious people and people have religious experiences all day long, all the time, every single day. But it's not, what I'm talking about is something personal between you and the creator of the universe. Now, let me give you a little bit of understanding before I go in here talking about salvation, true salvation. Let, let me talk about um, one of the reasons why we have a lot of success with diseases, sickness and diseases, and people come here um, and receive healing. That's because we understand not only there's a natural aspect and then there's a spiritual aspect. And <clears throat> our bodies was designed to function a certain way. Our minds were designed to function a certain way. Whenever you alter a change and go outside of the confines, the limitation or the laws um, that this body was designed to function after and the mind to function after, you're going to encounter um, some type of spiritual resistance or some type of spiritual breakdown. First that which is natural, then that which is spiritual. Um, so a lot of times when you have these autoimmune diseases, you know, a disease is, is rooted in spiritual conflict. That's what it is. Um, you know, the law says an eye for an eye and two for a two. And of course, you know, let's say if you go out and you accuse someone of adultery, all right, could be true or could be false. That's, that's totally irrelevant in reference to you, what somebody else has done and it hasn't affected you. What you need to understand spiritually, whether you like it, lump it or not. And that's that's the problem that the world is having. You go out and you accuse someone of adultery and it's false. And then you even have an attitude, a spirit behind it, hatred and everything else. The law demands whatever punishment that you had in your heart. And most people don't know their heart. That's the same judgment should be meet to you. So and very few people understand what's going on spiritually today. They can easily discern things naturally. And that's why the medical profession, you know, fails in these areas right here because they're trying to solve spiritual problems with natural means. And it just simply ain't going to work. So if you turn around and you are, let's just use some examples. If you are hating on someone or you are bitter, um, uh, if you're vindictive, um, you're angry, and you're constantly attacking someone with malicious words or, or or something. What? Hey, you may be releasing what's in the natural man and what you feel naturally because you don't you don't understand at that particular time which spirit is operating in you, um, and you give voice and give place to it. What you're actually doing is also a, giving a legal ground, a lawful right for your body to begin to turn on itself and to attack itself. That's why it's called autoimmune diseases. Um, and so if you're bitter, uh, if you're full of unforgiveness, hatred, murder, uh, you murder people with your words, um, strife, uh, all this stuff, your body begins to turn on itself because you have not met God's conditions in repentance. Most people, like I said before, you go to the hospital, you have, you show up, you, you show them a disease, cancer, or lupus, or whatever um, it, it is. They, they're not going to tell you. They simply are not going to tell you what the spiritual problem is. They can only, they're only designed to handle things naturally, and they can only try to, to manage what you have naturally, but they can't heal you. Jesus is the only healer. That's all there is to it. He's the only healer because he had power 
delegated to him from our Father, Almighty Yahweh himself. That you need to understand. And when you do not have proper application and you do not understand spiritual things, healing is the children's bread. It does not belong to all you doubters. It does not belong to all you unbelievers. It is not for you people who resist the power of Yah. It's for us, the ministers of Yah, to, to minister to his people, to let you know that healing is the children's bread, but you have conditions to meet. So if you want to begin to see things take place, you know, this what I'm going to give you an example. What we do, first thing we do is we find out what the underlying issue is. The majority of times, somebody is bitter against someone because they've either, in their mind, it doesn't mean it's true. It's just something they probably fabricate in their mind, or it could be something that literally did happen. But the bottom line is you can't go outside of the order of the Father, especially when you're one of his, and then act and, and after a natural perspective or natural uh, attitude. You can't do that. And then expect to be in good standing with the Father because all of this um, diseases that the, the, the Torah clearly says that if you obey his laws, statutes, and commandments, all these diseases that he has laid upon the Egyptians, he wouldn't put up on you because he is Yahweh, your Elohim, that he with you. But yet and still, we live in a time now where the Israelites, those who are coming out from these pagan religions such as Christianity, Islam, and all these other flavors, that you're tasting and experiencing the same diseases that the people have in the world. And I tell you just earlier, and I talk about this till I'm blue in the face. I may even just do um, an extensive deliverance workshop in the dead of winter, when during the dead season and stuff, do like maybe a three, four day workshop just on healing of the natural body and understanding what's going on in the spiritual realm. But you have to meet Yah's conditions. That means repentance in his order. Some of you are too prideful to repent. Some of you are too arrogant to repent. And you'll never turn from your wicked ways because you believe in, in you playing God yourself that these people deserve um, your resentment, your hatred, your anger, and that's your payback for them. And as a result, um, you living like that and adopting that kind of attitude, your body turns on you and then you deserve exactly what you get. It ain't until the Holy Spirit begins to deal with your mind by hearing, faith come by hearing, hearing the word of Yah. You hear somebody like me hollering and screaming and, and uh, all the time uh, telling you what the situation is, what the problem is, what the conditions that you need to be doing, what do you need to meet. Um, and then if the Spirit is dealing with you, something will click on the inside. Then you would inquire. Um, and after you do some due diligence, some diligence inquiry, uh, pretty soon, more than likely, um, after hearing me, you have a spirit of truth that's dealing with you. You'll more likely end up in front of me one day. You'll 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 make a trip. You'll you'll some way somehow um, start you know making yourself known. You'll make a trip and you'll come here and you'll see something here straightway that you ain't never seen before in your life. You actually going to see the spiritual realm that people seem to avoid. You read about it all in the Gospels about these demonic spirits and everything that takes place and stuff. And when, when the Messiah went into the synagogue, what was one of the first things he did? He cast out devils. But you go into assemblies, you go into churches, you go into home places today. All we do is sit down and hear the word, hear good singing. Nobody having any devils cast out of them. But yet the only people that are in the synagogues are believers. Now, contrast this. What, what's our problem today? Well, the spirit of unbelief through religion has gripped our hearts, paralyzed us from having right thinking and believing right. When you think wrong, you will do wrong, you will act wrong. And as a result, we've adopted a hands-off attitude against the spiritual realm. And so therefore, we don't attack Satan's kingdom because when we enter the assembly day, we have philosophies that insulate us um, from actually Satan's kingdom. We adopt sayings like this. Uh, I'm a believer. I can't have no demons or I don't have no demons in me. I'm not like these other people. And what you've done is you kept yourself from having any freedom, any liberty whatsoever at all, or healing in the spirit because, hey, you got a philosophy. You have a perspective, a point of view that you've adopted and is yours personally to yourself because it's written in your book of the law and ain't nothing nobody can say can do about it. Um, but, hey, you're going to have to change your mind. You're going to change your spirit and attitude because I promise you, you come here straightway during one of these deliverance sessions that Pastor Dow conducts. You're going to see something that's going to raise the hair off the back off your back and on your neck. That's what it's going to do. You're going to have an experience. It's a shilling experience. 
when you're not familiar with what's going on. It's a chilling experience. It's a very fearful experience because once you grasp and understand, you begin to see this. These things not only have they been controlling every aspect of my life, but they've been submitting thoughts to my mind. And the thoughts that I thought they were my own because they sound just like me, I've been paying attention to them, giving voice to these thoughts, but in essence, giving place to the devil. When the Bible says give no place to the devil. And I have actually allowed these spirits to operate through me. Most people are oblivious to what's happening, what's going on, because the enemy is so deeply entrenched and controlled so much. So the majority of autoimmune diseases and stuff is rooted in spiritual problems, no doubt about it. And you need understanding. And that's what I'm here for. I'm Pastor Dow. Jeremiah 315, just like the prophets had said, and I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. So go to your pastor, tell him you have some problems and you need some help. If he can't help you, you probably are in the wrong place.